back to my channel and welcome to a review, I would say. Yeah, I told you that a company sent two dice to me, two dice and a stamp. They wanted me to review that and make a project, which I did. And um, I did show you, I'm not sure which one is going to come up first, this or the other one. But um, this is my project with the die I got. It's this one. And it is a memory dex die, I would say. It's like a small one. It comes in this set. Let me show you the project first. And now I realize, because I haven't seen it before, I did stick them down here while that was open. And then I shut it. And you see that? See, so something needs to happen there. I would have to put it up, you know, a little bit higher. But... Oh, well, so I cut it out and as you can see, I made a little, of course, memory dex card, but you sent them to write down your information, right? And give it to somebody. And I did cut out the word hello. It's right here. It's very tiny. I'm going to show you everything in a second. And I also cut out a doily with another die and I used my, where is it? This gold pen. I just love this one. <laughs> I have almost destroyed it. I have been using it a lot. And as you can see, the tip is pretty bad already. Don't mind my fingernails. They are not really dirty. It's just all like, you know, paint and distress ink and stuff like that. Okay, so cut out the die. And I did put a repositionable um, glue dot underneath because... I think that's the best way. A magnet? I don't think so because it's going to stick out too much. And um, I didn't know Velcro. I was afraid it's going to destroy this. If I make it, or when I make it another time, I will also layer the doily because the doily came out to be too thin. So I'm going to layer this. But I did layer the word hello and used the gold pen on that one too. And I layered it a couple of times. And the lower layer, as you can see, was white and gold and so i just went out on gold i put gold all around it and this is how it looks inside it comes with this little perfume bottles and i did use my gold pen on that you see it's not just a pen it makes it like gl glossy probably i put some stickles on top and all around it i went with my pen and then I did stamp, I do have this little stamp, and I stamped the, which set was it? This one. So from this one, you can just take any line, of course. And I stamped lines because, right, you write down your birthday or whatever information you want to write down. I would do it on the flaps, you know, with the marker or something. And then I put sunshine in here because I thought it's going to be really cute if it says like, hello, sunshine. <laughs> and I did use another die. I didn't get it here. But this one is, um, this is not from AliExpress. You see, it's like a frame. This, I have no idea where I got this one, but it's one that's, plastic and you open it and inside are the cutting blades so it's the only one i have that looks like that and this came from this kit that i got from peachy cheap you know and i have crafted so much with that and it's still not gone and i knew i have this girl i knew i have the kit i knew there is everything is there so okay now what i like it First of all, I like it because it's something different and it has, you know, the flaps. And if you don't want the flaps, you can cut them off and you can have just this shape and make a shaker. I'm thinking shakers all the time. And because I do have this in layer here, I could actually make a pretty cool shaker out of it. I'm probably going to do that too. <laughs> I just cut the flaps off and make a shaker with that. So like that. Um, Yeah. I just like memory dex cards. So it's pretty good. What I did not like too much is that this doesn't, you see, it does not like uh, line up, but it's not a huge problem. So it doesn't line up. That was my thing that I was thinking, okay, <laughs> what do I do? I do like, I must say with the words, I do like the font very much. But then again, I have them here. They are 
really intricate. You see that? So that's a smile. I lost the dot already. And when I went there to take out my width, it came out in two parts. So you get the W and then ITH. So this is how that looks like. I don't know. I like this to be connected, but you know, because I'm losing everything all the time. I do like the font. I don't think I have anything like that in my collection, but it's pretty cool. There is another smile. There is a love, you know, I just cut it all out. I did not take this off here. And there is another perfume bottle that was hanging right there. It was pretty hard to take out this because it was very, very close and you could not move it. You know, like you wiggle it, it comes off. No, it didn't work because it was here on four spots. And I don't know, maybe there is another much better tool out there. I tried to use this one. I could not get there. And I thought I'm just going to ruin the whole thing trying to get this off. And maybe I have to go to a store and get another one. But I managed. I wiggled really for a long time. A little bit here, a little bit there. And then it came off. So yeah, I would prefer for this to not to be like that. But if I manage that you will manage this too and it's a frame here i'm not quite sure i should take them all off just because i have an organization system where the words go extra you know but they're so tiny i i'm afraid to lose tiny pieces but i will probably just do that i have a good organization system so that should work so there is that Thank you to the company who sent me that because I had fun creating this. You know, I think it looks really, really pretty, except for the bottom part now. But I'm thinking, can I cover it up? No, I don't think so. So I'm going to leave this one like that. And just the next one, I will just push them up a little bit higher. And I wanted one to be like falling down and one in the back. So I think they came out really cute. I do like that little perfume bottles i could not you know i wanted to put some glossy accents and stuff like that on top but i cannot make anything bulky inside i have to keep it flat this is like a little bulky already so the inside has to be flat you can decorate the outside a little more or the back i did not decorate the back i just put the pen all around it and there is that so the dot seems to work for now <laughs> But I don't know. So this is how it looks like. And if you want to check it out or if you want to support me, I'm not getting anything. There, there is that. So that's what I got. And if you click on the links in the description, I will leave some, you know, then maybe they'll send me another one to make a project with. I don't know. But I like this and I did make a project and I enjoyed it very, very much. And I have nothing bad to say. It's a die. It cuts. I could make a project, you know. It did cut out pretty good. So even the small words, I would cut and cut. And I cut thick card stock. So I'm satisfied with that, you know. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed that. Maybe you have one of those already. And, you know, this little project is a little bit of inspiration for you. If you did enjoy it, give me a thumbs up. Share, subscribe. Oh, my God, my thumbs are so black. <laughs> I have to try and wash it somehow. I don't know. I can't get it off the paint of my fingers and fingernails. I will see you in my next video, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoy your day. Bye-bye for now.